The Napa School District in the red by millions of dollars. And at the center of it all, one name keeps coming up. Josh Jensen. We received several letters and emails into the Today 6 newsroom asking why the man responsible for the financial mess is now in charge of the entire district. So tonight we're taking a closer look. Tina Jensen has more in this On Your Side investigation. You know, when it boils down to it, uh, it was really some, some um, gaps in our system that caused this. This is the man responsible for Nampa School District's finances the past few years. Dr. Josh Jensen admits his department didn't have enough checks and balances and that they made some big budgeting errors. Who's ultimately responsible is, is leadership. It's, it's myself, it's our superintendent, it's our board of trustees. Um, so again, it, it's, it's our charge to make sure that we have those internal controls. Um, and so that's an area that we're really having to focus on going forward, particularly on the budget side. And now Jensen is the guy at the top. Superintendent Gary Larson resigned in August after the deficit was revealed and the board named Jensen acting superintendent. The district's longtime auditing firm recently released the results of the 2012 audit. In it, they find there's not enough monitoring in the finance department. They also say no one's vetting Nampa School's federal dollars and that could jeopardize future funding. So how long have the problems been going on? Former district accountant Christine Edwards sent a letter to the board last week saying she warned Jensen and school board member Scott Keto of major problems back in 2006. The former employee did, did write a letter and again, um, I don't think the contents of that letter really contribute to where we're at today. Uh, but there were issues and there have been issues over the years. As we've been reporting, there's also another Nampa Schools accountant who says she was fired after reporting possible fraud. And she filed a whistleblower lawsuit against the district. Has there been embezzlement or fraud going on within the finance department? I have no reason to believe that. Uh, again, as I look back and, and dive into what got us here, um, it really what it boils down to is overexpending revenues. It turns out that overspending has been going on a long time. The district ended the last school year about $4 million over budget. So the board pulled money from the general fund to cut that amount in half, ending the year with a $2 million deficit. Nampa schools project this year they'll end with a more than $4 million deficit. That's even with the multi-million dollar levy counted as revenue. But we went back even more, and budget docs show that even in the 2009-2010 school year, the district went over budget by $2 million. 2010, the district's over budget by $2 million. What happened in really simple terms? Uh, I guess in really simple terms, we spent more money than we should have. So this has been going on for years. As I look back and see how what led us to this, and I look back the last couple of years, it is a combination of things that have happened for the last couple of years. The leaders may have the responsibility, but it's the 15,000 students in the Nampa School District who will feel the consequences. Tina Jensen, today six on your side. The school district brought in a third party auditor to examine the district's finances. So far, though, they say the auditor will only look at this past year. Stay with us. We are going to continue to investigate the Nampa School District and find out how many district jobs are going to be affected by this. Be sure to tune in tomorrow night at 10 o'clock as we continue the investigation.